Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. Ethereum seems to be, um, well, seems to be holding better in this current pullback compared to Bitcoin, which is good and actually well, well, uh, well received and desperately needed because, um, to be honest, Ethereum already corrected a lot in this decline here, which bottomed on Wednesday and then, yeah, reacted nicely to the upside, but only in three waves so far, as you can see. I'm counting the move to the upside from the Wednesday low as an ABC structure within a larger A wave. Um, so what, what I'm tracking here is predominantly in the yellow count an ABC structure. I definitely consider that it might be something more bullish because Ether already moved down so much in this current correction. So it already, already possibly corrected what it needed to correct, okay, in this wave four. However, um, it's not very, very clear yet because so far the move to the upside is really only a three wave rally. You can see that I've labeled it as ABC and the current pullback um, is, as I said, is holding much better than Bitcoin. But yeah, it, it could still develop an impulse, to be honest. The thing is, though, that this was a little bit, a little bit too short for a third wave to be reliable technically valid but a little bit too short to be reliable because if it now comes down further and there is an overlap between 3400 and the current price then it certainly couldn't be an impulse anyway because we have an overlap with wave three and four uh, sorry wave one and four well it could still be it could still be a diagonal that's forming but even then i would argue that probably the third wave is still unfolding so in an in an unfolding uh, five wave pattern, we are probably still in a wave three, and it it might be that it's just um, an A wave rally here. We're now doing the B wave of wave three, and could then see that that's possible. Not so important right now. We will see if that develops. Um, it is at the moment, I think, just important that the price doesn't break below three thousand one hundred sixty four. And you might ask, okay, why is that level so important? Well, it's the 78.6 retracement level of this rally. And in any pullback, really, to maintain a higher low, that level really needs to hold. Now, I predominantly see this as an ABC structure. So A wave to the upside in three waves. Yeah, as I said, it could be something more bullish, but let's 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 get the market show us first. Okay, at the moment. Yep, I, I would still like to see higher prices, but it would be within a larger ABC structure. So I find it quite likely that currently, like Bitcoin, Ether might be working on a B-wave pullback. Now that B-wave pullback might be rather shallow. No? It might not be so aggressive. So the main support levels for a B-wave are between 3,164 and 3,312. And then also we have an upper support region, which is actually you know, relevant for an impulse. But as I said, it doesn't really have the look of an impulse, but the price might still find support there and it could still be a B wave. So B waves doesn't mean the B wave has to enter the lower support region. It's more like, okay, I'm offering some Fibonacci support levels here. And let's see if the market can find support there and start the C wave rally to the upside. And if it's forming a different structure than what would normally be a C wave, then we might be dealing with a white count. But in, in both of them, I prefer to see further upside, but would have to change my view if there is a sustained break below 3,164, which, as I said, is that 78.6 Fibonacci level. Uh, I mean, I would it, honestly, it would really challenge the overall bullish perspective on the ETH chart, at least the most more immediate bullish perspective, if the price breaks below 3,164, because then, yes, yeah, surely, I mean, it could still be a wave four correction, but it will it will then probably run out of space in this correction without a healthy B wave, which is highlighted here in yellow. That C wave down, which would then start, would probably run out of space and break below the 50% FIB level, and that would require a larger reinterpretation of the chart because. What I, what I could say is maybe wave B already finished. Uh, may, maybe this was the A wave down, B wave rally, and we're now coming down in wave C. But current price action doesn't at least not yet suggest that, which is good. And I would prefer to see that higher B wave at least. Yeah, um, That doesn't mean that wave 4 has to be over, but I would prefer just to see a healthy B wave. So the C wave, once it comes down, to retest the support region has plenty of space. I hope that's clear. 
It is of course also possible that this entire wave 4 correction turns into something like a triangle, but there's we don't have enough waves, you know, yet. And I'm very much a fan of let's just analyze what we see. It's simply a potential, a possibility that ether might be forming a triangle here. That's always possible in a wave 4, but without even having three waves in place that you know, where we have a series of higher lows and, and lower highs, we shouldn't really um, think about that because there's no point. But it's just something to be, of, of course, you know, to consider once we see enough waves. Yeah, that's my update about Ethereum. Should give you all the parameters you need. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.